this video with certain delays. Hello, my dear friends. Best greetings from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Dr. Viktor Fursov. I am a research entomologist and for people who came to my channel just at first time. My scheduled preliminary stream was delayed for a long time, for two hours, because electricity was out. And this is electricity blackouts just for short period of time, fortunately at the present time, appearing from time to time in our city, the Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine, just in all regions, switch out the electricity for one period, next period, next period, and it's expected and unexpected as well. So that's why I do this show on with some delay. But nevertheless, let's start from the beginning, from the day, past day, 31st February, January 2023. Well, what was going in this day? This day was a little bit troubling because there were three air alerts, three air alerts, so all the metro and all transportation was stopped for more than two hours, total hour, maybe even more. So air alert is pretty frustrating time. So unexpected and expected as well, because it can be expected in any time, because our, our bloody neighbors always try to make some troubles for us. Fortunately, we didn't have any troubles in Kiev today, but we are ready to prevent it. Our army is ready to prevent it during the night, evening, and daytime, all this, now and now. So, 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 I do not uh, describe what's going on around, because previous time when we had some air alerts, there was a lot of troubles. So, this day was calm, so we are happy about it. One more quiet and calm day in Kiev, this is just a uh, gift, actually, it's a pretty nice gift. And so let's start to talk about insects. So my channel is devoted to insects and science of entomology and beekeeping and science of zoology as well, because science of zoology is science about animals and insects are also animals, but just tiny, tiny animals, very tiny, sometimes invisible animals, insects and all another invertebrates which are living all around us somewhere in the nature, in your house, in your shop, in your wardrobe, sometimes in kitchen, in, in, in the bathroom, and of course on a balcony. But now this is a winter time in Ukraine and in Europe as well. So we are not in Australia where is the summer now, but now we are in a winter time. So it's a cold. So insects were hidden, hiding in somewhere, everywhere under the leaves, in the leaf litter. But we have actually very funny insects on our video recorded file. Yes, now. So I made a collection of this and I will comment which insects on these files. We start from some interesting and beautiful insects. Many people very much. These are insects. Many people like them very much. Entomologists collecting them, making labels, putting them inside some logical bigger, which is called entomological collection. And this is collection of some insects from Papillonida, then this is genus Apollo, Apollo, so great Greek name, Apollo, Apollo butterflies, they're so beautiful, actually they're not living in a forest, not living just everywhere in Ukraine, because we have few species which are under protection and included in the list of protected and endangered species. Many species live in somewhere on small meadow on just on the meadows on the hills of 
mountains. How is it? Pamir in Tanshan in different mountains and hills in Pakistan. We have very, very high hills with huge mountains. And so some species are very, very rare. And actually, some collectors are paying a lot of money to have some rare specimens in collection. I do not like it. Absolutely. This species is collected in Europe. So I do not see the label, but nevertheless, believe me, this species is not rare. But entomologists can check and identify the morphological variety of species. Because if we collected species in different time, in different areas, we can identify some variations in changes, changes of genitalia, changes of males and females. And this family, this is a family, Pieride. Pieride, sometimes in some such places like bogs, near forest. These are more common species, but some species in distant areas, as we say, somewhere in a distant forest, pretty rare. And also some crazy collectors are offering a huge money for these species from distant areas because some species becoming very rare. But of course, and these species also becoming rare because changes of environments, disappearance, bogs, disappearance of rivers and small streams, appearing in just more deserted areas, and many species are becoming in danger because they're losing their environment. They're losing actually environmental, like a meadow, like bog, and also all species of host plants are disappearing. So no host plant for caterpillar, so will be no butterfly in the same area. So, but I am not only watching insects on pins. Entomologists, I mean, this is not only in, about insects on pins. No, no, no. no. But it's about their behavior and biology. And this is insect, which is lovely insect, and many people like them very much. People just waiting for springtime to breed them. And this is bumblebee, round bumblebee, bombus terrestris, feeding on a drop of honey. Bumblebee is very easy insect, just at least for short period of time. For feeding, feeding. This is not a good idea because bumblebee will die without family. And I male because the third by a pair of legs with the siete, with a special place for collecting pollen. And it was collected in August with Lanatane and with hairy hind legs, hairy tibia and hairy femora. This is a without special shining place on legs on hind legs this is a male but uh, what's about another bumblebee let's start to check what's about another bumblebee this bumblebee not a male this bumblebee is a worker pollen and nectar to the colony colony and inside colony is sitting to wait workers and workers are coming and bringing pollen to feed larry inside colony it's very pleasant to keep bumblebees in artificial small bumblebee beehive so it's quite easy to maintain to manage from wood homemade artificial bumblebee nest quite possible to make, but not easy to attract them to this ho home, because you can put such artificial bumblebee beehives in, in your garden, in your orchard, like 10 bumblebee nests, but only maybe one or two nests will be inhabited, because 
queen, which is will be flying around this small bumblebee hives in a more in a springtime. We'll select this hives very carefully and maybe you will not like it very much. So there is an opportunity, for instance, to catch a uh, big queen in the springtime, put inside the small bumblebee hive, just to wait for one day and then just open the entrance. So in this case, maybe three, four bumblebee hives can be inhabited. So it will increase the percentage of good homes for bumblebees. But still, this is it needs certain attention. This is this not like for put them inside the hive, and you are happy to keep a home bumble beehive, and will decide is a good one or not one. So in every time she's collecting pollen and collecting honey, collecting nectar actually. There is no bumblebee honey, don't worry. No bumblebee honey, this is fantasy, tale, imagination. Only bumblebee collecting nectar. But here she's, this she's, worker with this she's female, feeding on a drop of honey. Honey is sweet, so bumblebee enjoy it very much. So because if you collect queen, with pollen, it means queen already started a nest somewhere. So in this case, if you put queen in artificial house, she will be disoriented and will not inhabit it. Definitely will be just waiting how to escape. Escape the next day and will forward straight away to the place where she started her own home nest. And here, another insect, just very interesting. And much slender, much slender, much bigger than bumblebee, but much slender with very narrow, very slender legs. And this is parasitic wasp. This is not a wasp which is stinging. This is parasitic wasp, which is parasitoid of different wood boring cut larvae, wood boring beetles. And its name of family. Honey, but you see here there is no lone proboscis, no tongue between mandibles and head, because uh, female and male do not do not need to collect any honey, any any sweet liquid like nectar, only using for food, only small pa palpi, palpi mandibulare and palpi labiale, and of course very long black colored antenna on the right side on the right on the head here i try to turn the camera to show probably long long body and very long ovipositor ovipositor on the body of this insect because the ovipositor is not inside the screen of a camera just outside of screen of camera because this parasite is very low with very long for this is called a repositor for egg opposition, an egg opposition inside the larva of wood boring insect somewhere under the bark of tree. So, and I collected this parasitoid on the bark of tree. So you can have recognized that majority of insects, hymenoptera insects, enjoy honey as a food. Like, like here, some Vespula, Vespula bee. Is. So this Vespula bees, genus Vespula, were living just near our institute around bees, not bees, around wasps. They're stinging, they're stinging. And finally, someone who was not housekeeper, but field keeper near our institute destroyed this nest in September somewhere because it was for a long time a whole summer it was very small nest but in august and it's september time the nest increased the number of wasps increased and they became very dangerous sometimes stinging the people who were just walking around on the street and it was done somewhere under cut a tree so some people were very curious and put some sticks on the nest 
inside the nest. And sometimes the wasp became very angry and aggressive and stung some people nearby. So finally, field keeper, just cleaner person, just destroyed the, uh, the nest, just put it many a lot of around on, on the nest. And then it was day, a rainy day, and all west, all wasps in the nest didn't survive, I guess, because it was a rainy day. They just suffocate were suffocated under the ground in the in the soil under the tree. So but they enjoy very much honey and sugar. It's easy to attract them by honey. You see here how they were feeding. They were very happy. And here I show you next wasp. Very interesting wasp. Big one, big one, very big one. And I keep it in my hands. And this is not simple wasp, without a round wasp. This is a wasp which is called hornet, European hornet, Vespula. Vespa crabro in Latin, Vespa crabro, dangerous wasp. But how I keep it? In my hands, in my fingers, so helplessly. No, I, I was not stung. Don't worry, I was not stung. I'm not crazy to keep female hornet in my hands, in my fingers, because female worker hornet is stinging painfully. But this is a male with very long antennae, very long antennae, and without sting without sting, only with male genitalia on the body. And I got it from, uh, I got it just near my apartment. This male just jumped from the nest somewhere nearby, maybe somewhere on the balcony or under the roof of our apartment house and fell down on the ground. And just I was in the house, just a male, just a hornet. I had a box, put it inside. And box and I recognized yes yes quite easy to put in, in a box because she he because this is a male he didn't escape because his wing was deformed and actually this is a male so you do not need to worry about this also, but you don't is if you cannot recognize this is it's a male. My name hornets do not touch them. And actually, they live, they will fly away themselves. They're very careful, very careful. We will not wait in for you to sting you in your finger, in your in your neck, in your head. No, no. If you will take it with your hands, with your palms, you know, or just in your, your fingers, hornet will sting, be sure. But male is not stinging, so don't worry. And what's what's the next? Who is the next? Next one will be here. Interesting insect, which sometimes can be collected. Lunch of this interesting insect lunch. Unfortunately, this larva is dead. Oh, it's still alive, still alive, still just trying to crawl. But in this huge, strong legs of this brain mantis, larva cannot escape. And this is a larva of super milworm, which is named in Latin Zophobus, B1 pets food. Pets food, Zophobus atratus. Yes, this is a big one, big larva. The larva is not happy because mantis, this female mantis, caught this big larva and feeding on it. Because, because female of it. mantis should be fed very well before flying when they are not very fat. Finally, by feeding, even in captivity, do not survive in winter time as adult mantis is surviving only inside old eggs. 
eggs are overwintering for mantis, for mantidae, for praying mantis. So that's why she's feeding very well, becoming very happy and laying eggs in your jar. So easy to keep mantis in autumn time and receive overtaker and wait with overtaker till the springtime. And you can receive very small, tiny baby mantises in the springtime. But again, you need to have some food, some insects for feeding them. But many people enjoy them very much. A lot of people are gathering together in groups of these hunts in tropical areas. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, we have a very interesting morphological shape and absolutely wonderful like orchid mantis, wonderful coloration, pink, white, pink and white, green, brown, blackish color, brown color, and absolutely a wonderful kind of a mimicry. It looks like a small sticks, like stick insects, but much more beautiful because they are predaceous and they are predators. So this is visible here. Mantis is pred predator eating on other insects, like this poor larval mealworm Zophobus. So on this um, very careful note, we can finish today's videos about insects. And if you have bred some insects, which I showed you here, welcome to write in comments which insects are breeding, which insects do you like, and I show my, okay, I can try to show, I have a large collection of different insects. I just check in a folder what insects I have to show you. One more, oh, four, four. Okay, yes, yes. Here I show you the face of this insect, if we were already talking about it. We were talking about super mealworm, super mealworm. And this is a face. Also, super mealworm, the head of a super mealworm. They are very important in a high magnification and quite easy to recognize the head in the shape of a face. Because this is head of a male, female with straight line between on the head between antennae. On both sides, you see two big eyes, two big antennae, two small palpe, and front line just straight, front edge, front edge of her, of her, very straight. But if we take male, male is different, male head will be different. And you can see here on next video, difference between male and female. This one, this is a female with straight edge on face. And this one, and this one has a, you see, semicircular on the edge of a head. This is with such semicircular edge, this is like a cutlet part on the front, on the front of a head, this is a male. So quite easy to recognize because males are more common and uh, bred in a higher number. But of course, for breeding of Zophobus, you need to have females. If you are keeping only males, somebody gave you a gift of larvae and larvae just pupated and then from pupa imaged. Males, males will not reproduce <laughs> for sure. The males will not reproduce and you can be waiting for new larvae there are no no eggs no larvae because this is a male male are not reproducing and do not lay fertilized eggs males are needed for mating and for mating with female and female will lay eggs for reproduction for new generation so if you are breeding in the Phobos, write in comments. Are you breeding the Phobos or another mealworms? And, or what insects you are keeping in a culture? It will be interesting for the discussion. If you have 
this collection of different insects, cultures of different insects. Sometimes people have like a small zoo in at home, not in laboratory, but at home, right? How many insects, how many species of different insects you are keeping at home or in your laboratory and why you are interested in this. I'm studying personally parasitic wasps, like on this background picture. These are parasitic wasps of a fam of different with different families of a super family calcid wasp, calcidae there. My favorite wasps here, this one. This is Trichohromatidae family, egg parasitoids. Here are some insects. This uh, Mimar, Mimaridae, egg parasitoids as well. But others were just pupal parasitoids, adult parasitoids, and larval parasitoids. But my favorite are egg parasitoids, Trichohroma, and other Trichohromatidae for people who uh, didn't know me. So, but I'm very pleased to tell you about different insects, including different groups of Hymenoptera and another groups of insects just for education. Because education, this is important part of life for school pupils, for students of uni colleges and universities, and even for adults. Education is not uh, bad because they can pass some new knowledge, some new facts about not so dangerous insects not so dangerous hornets, but you must be careful to know a little bit more about them, how to be careful, how to get rid of some pests and some dangerous stinging insects. And we will be talking with you about it in our future streams, even today in 10 p.m., 10, 30 p.m. in evening time. But this stream is going to the end. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to see my email. You can find my email in the description of the video. If you want to donate some small donation from a cup of coffee, so you can send it on my Patreon page or my PayPal page for a cup of coffee. This is a good idea. Why not? Why not? This is a small motivation that some people have seen my video and I receive just such small financial feedback. It's called feedback. Feedback, which means so polite greetings for viewers. Thank you for watching me even from Japan, because I know if here, evening time in Japan, this is eight hours early. That's eight hours early. So thank you for watching. Yes. And my friend is writing that. This is time to go to work, but this is time to sleep for me because it's midnight. So thank you for watching. Good luck on my channel. For my friends. Good luck. See you soon on my channel. Don't forget about pop coffee. Thank you very much. See you soon. See you today, evening time on new stream. Bye bye. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, yes, not yet. Thank you. Bye bye.